take your camera, put it right here, you'll be able to see. Yeah, half inch short, quarter inch. Quarter inch, half, yeah, quarter inch drive, half short. Something like that. What are you working on right now, Bobby? Trying to get these doors mounted up. Sorry. They don't want a line property. But they will. Get that part? I don't know. Bobby hurt himself back there. Okay. I want you guys to take a look down the side of this door. This is Mike's Mustang um, that we're doing. Parts were damaged in shipping, but you know what? They really weren't that good to begin with. Um, nothing. I mean, just nothing lines up. Well, I mean, we'll get it because that's what we do. Um, but we'll, we've got to massage a lot of the metal and, and get this straightened out. This is obviously the next step is we're gonna put the doors on it and put the fenders on it, get everything lined up and we're gonna do the body. There's a whole area in here. I don't know if it translates to film really well, but it just, you know, Henry didn't build these parts. Um, what's his name? Sumi Soto built these parts. Or somebody, I don't know, but they're you know they're they're close. They resemble Mustang doors. Uh, when we're done with it, they're gonna look like Mustang doors are supposed to look. But we'll put we got the fenders over here. We're gonna put them on the fenders and the doors, line everything up. Then we can body work it because we got to make everything match. It's it's got to be just seamless all the way down. You know, uh, it's just it's it's. It's sad because the quality of parts that, that you buy just isn't there. I mean, it, nobody cares about quality anymore. You know, a friend of mine was talking on one of his videos about parts, buying parts that are just garbage. We get, you know, mainstream parts from a mainstream auto parts supplier, and they're junk. I mean, it's just, it's not every time, but it's, it's enough time to make you kind of frustrated about it. Um, but again, next step is get the body. Look, look at this. This was damaged during shipping, you know, and all, of course, all the boxes say fragile, don't stack on top. And they, they, they do, they don't care. Um, you know, somebody's getting paid $8 an hour to whip these in the back of a truck and, and deliver them. So, um, the trunk lid, we've got to shave part of the trunk lid off and re-weld that seam because width wise it, it's not correct so this is the thing that takes a lot of time this is 
you know, I always say expect the unexpected. We totally expect this every time we buy a part. It's, yeah. You're going to have to make it right. The, the difference between us and a lot of other body shops is they'll, they'll put it on there, get it close, paint it, good to go, you're all set, give me a check. No, this car is going to be perfect. That's just the way it is. It's not... It's not coming here to get worked on just to be painted. It's coming here to make the car correct, to make it perfect. And Bobby will do it. There's, you know, everybody says Matt's the only one that does any work around here. Bobby does. The you know, I could say it, but I know you're not supposed to say that. So Bobby does a ton of work on these cars, and he does a good job. He's conscientious about it, and he won't let anything get past him. You know, a lot of places they'll go and, you know, I had talked to you before we primed this car about he was doing body work in here on the side of the cowl. You are never going to see it, but he's going to know it's there. I'm going to know it's there. He's going to know it's there. Everybody's going to know. So it's not there anymore. We fixed it. Um, and that's, that's the goal on all these cars. And, again, you know, I say I'm, I'm getting about ready to stop taking work. Well, I got another call today on a 1950 and a 1951 metro vans cool vehicle uh, probably gonna take it <laughs> but i you know we're running out of space to keep stuff so we, we you know we gotta start bouncing some stuff out of here and i know you guys are all gonna like that you want to see stuff finish but this again you know not beating a dead horse or anything this is how an actual shop works you know some days a bunch of stuff's leaving but some days stuff never changes or it doesn't look like it changes but there'll come a day when all of a sudden there's six cars leaving they're they're ready to roll so you know we don't stand around much we don't complain that we don't have enough work i mean we got we got more than enough um we work these two guys a lot and it's hot so i don't push um i'm kind of chained to the computer ordering parts and things like that and and you know, once we get them here, we'll show you Christmas morning where we get to open all the boxes because I just ordered for that 63 and a half Galaxy. I just ordered probably $10,000 worth of parts for that car. So, so much so that I had to call the bank and tell them to raise my daily limit because I was whacking it too hard. <laughs> they called the law on you. Yeah, they, yeah, they shut me down. Sure. Um, on you. Make but you we got, you know, we told you yesterday we got a bunch of stuff over in the machine shop. Not without its problems. We had to do brake work on the truck to, you know, to drive the truck over there. There's always something. It's it, there's never a dull moment. Um, but this this is just something that you're going to run into. It just happens. The lady with the metros, when I was talking to her, she, I mean, they're partially completed projects already. You know, big motors, air ride, tubbed, all kinds of stuff. And, but they got it at a body shop, and the body shop, they were complaining that they, they didn't like the quality of the body work. And the, the guy at the body shop, and, and while she said, well, he's, he's a pretty nice guy, but he told her, that's as good as it gets. Well, she's not happy with it. And it's like Matt said, that little whatever it is that she's not happy with, when that vehicle's done, is just going to pick away at her, and she's going to end up not happy with the entire job so part of the reason for doing the videos is so that Mike and Cindy and uh, Fred and Becky and everybody can see their car getting worked on and and know that we're you know we're doing our level best to get it done so we will you know I got a lot of friends in the business different as aspects of the car business but they're all like Somebody will tell them, oh, you never finish anything, or oh, you don't get this done, or oh, why'd you do that, and stuff. It's, it's The reason why we did it is because that's what the people want us to do. We also did it because we agree with them. Um, and we also do it because we know what we're doing. It, there's, you know, I'm getting really good at ordering parts on the computer. <sighs> well, luckily, it's not super, super hot today, so I can breathe. I can breathe, yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah. I mean, it's just been, the last few weeks have been ugly. Now it's going to get cold eventually, and then we'll complain about it being cold, but I don't think you're going to hear me complain about it being cold too much after this. It's like, I, I got is in comments I know. On, our, on our channel. What's that? The only complaint I got is in 
them comments. It's hot. It, but, yeah. but the comments is uh, bothering me. Yeah. I, well, guess, well, I guess you just learn. You just learn to deal with it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You know. That's a good thing it, to learn, too. Yeah, it is. Because I never mm. deal with anything like that <laughs> the right way in my life. Yeah. You know? It's. Uh, I, I got to bite my tongue sometimes because if you don't know what it takes to do all this stuff, you, you instantly come up with a comment that may or may not be appropriate. They, they can say what they want. It don't bug me at all. Uh, well, not I can't say not at all, but some of yeah. it does a little bit. But yeah. You know how it does, bud? I'm getting good at ignoring it, though. Yeah. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. Just don't let yeah. it bother you again. No. You got to ignore Nobody it. Nobody talks crap about Bobby. He's the man. That's right. Nobody talks crap about Bobby. He does He does his thing in here. He, he does. knows what he's doing. Nobody can't get nothing bad to say about him. No. No, nobody's ever said anything bad about Bobby. Somebody once said that he was brave and strong. I think I know who you're talking about. I think you do, too. I haven't seen those comments. And I have I'm, not. I missed those comments. So. <clears throat> yeah, because the ones he gets now are way different. <laughs> yeah. <so>. Yeah. <laughs> You have to excuse me. I'm just getting over COVID. No, 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 really. no I'm not. Not really. No, I'm, I'll, I'll never, never be over COVID. Are you over Macho Grande? I'll never be over Macho Grande. You ever see that movie? Airplane? Oh, it's funny. Airplane? Yeah. No. We're getting off subject. With Snoop Dogg? No, that's Soul Plane. <laughs> <laughs> Kids these days, right? <coughs> uh, but that that's the update, you know. Um, we are a channel littered with updates. Uh, it's difficult to show you sometimes what we're doing. Over here, we've got a pallet of Buick parts that aren't going to the machine shop. Um, not a Buick not, part. Not a Buick bottle of water. Um, but a lot of this stuff is going to get cleaned up, painted, and, and put back on the car because there's, there's really nothing wrong with it. Um, Carburetor is going in stock because we're doing fuel injection on that car. We're putting electric fans on here? Probably. I would. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 a fluid thing with every car. There there may be a time when you get to a point and you go, you know what, this is gonna be better to do. I just call Lou up and tell him, Hey look, we're gonna put two twelve inch fans on this yeah. with with shrouds. It's gonna keep it nice and cool and I know he's gonna dog that car because he, he does it with the cars he's got now. So <laughs> it's like I know he's gonna be whooping on that car, so I wanna make sure that it's uh, it's gonna be good. And that, that's about it. I know I got notifications from FedEx today. Apparently, there's a bunch of stuff sitting at the house waiting for me to bring in. So hopefully, we'll have uh, a lot of cool stuff to show you. It's always fun opening boxes. It's like Christmas every day at my house, except my dog tries to kill Santa Claus when he pulls in the driveway. <laughs> dog, dog does not like delivery trucks at all. Um, but that's okay. I've, I've rambled enough, so we're going to turn some fans back on. I'm going to go in and order some more parts. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi, everybody. Uh, just a, a quick update today. Uh, we got the uh, engine transmission combo ordered for the Cadillac uh, from a company in Melbourne, Florida called Proformance Unlimited. Go watch their videos on YouTube. Um, you can see they're doing some pretty incredible things with LS motors. So this one's coming complete top to bottom, front to back, transmission wiring everything so uh, we'll get that shortly they of course they got to build it because they're they're built to order um, so we're getting that done uh, I've just spent the last two days just ordering parts for the 63 and a half galaxy got settled on the motor with this car uh, the boys are inside doing uh, Let's have a look at that Man. Bobby and Matt are getting the Mustang mocked up. Uh, we've got a couple welds we've got to do on the front fenders to patch up a little bit on them. And then we're going to get this car together, lined up on here, get it body worked out, the fenders and the doors, or fenders and the doors. Uh, and then we're on to paint. So. We got a bunch of stuff. Mike's got a bunch of stuff at his house. We're about to be inundated with cardboard boxes for everything that we've got for some of these projects. So speed's going to pick up a little bit because we have stuff now. It's just there's supply delays, there's shipping delays, there's all kinds of this. COVID has really caused a horrible mess with everything. The 
the engine and transmission I got, the transmission's actually coming from Holly, who now owns b and M. I did not know that. I learned that today. Um, but that's just going to be in Bowling Green, so we'll probably have the transmission before we have the engine because the engine's coming up out of, uh, out of Melbourne, Florida. Um, but I'm happy with this one. I'm, I'm happy that we got stuff on the way. It's cooled off a little bit, so uh, I think it's going to be a little bit nicer to work. So uh, I'm going to turn the fan back on for these guys because they complain when it gets hot. It's hot. Yeah, it's not as bad as it was. I know that. So. No, it's not as bad as it was last week. Yeah. But as you can see here, I mean, the car is starting to take shape. Um, this, I know people want to see more of this, but it, it, this is actually how it works. I mean, you, you put this car together and take it apart a half a dozen times during this process. So we'll get, get that all straightened out. And uh, once we do that, of course, we've already done the bottom of the car. Um, when we get this body worked out, it's time to block it and start putting some red paint on it. And then it's just a matter of putting it together. And then sanding it some more. And then sanding it some more and buffing it and yeah. all that. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a long, long process. And even, even on a car that we have everything for, it's still a long process. It's just it's something to be aware of if you take a car to get restored. Um, I talked to a woman yesterday that's got a couple of Metro vans, 50 and a 51 Metro van that on air ride and tubbed and all kinds of stuff. So we may be getting those. We'll see. Um, but it, it's, if somebody gives you a date that they're going to be finished with your car, they're going to miss it. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it, you know, it just isn't going to happen. Um, we take pride in the fact that we actually get stuff done at a fairly good pace. So, just be careful when you take a car anywhere. If they give you a date that it's going to be finished, it, it's probably going to be a little past that. A, a, yeah, a little past that. Now we're we're past where we wanted to be on the Mustang because this is a carryover from my old shop, but it's going to be in a wedding at the end of October. So this car will be done by the end of October. Um, so that's that's kind of a tall order, um, but we've we've had enough um, misses with dates because things didn't come or we found out we needed something else. And, uh, but I, I feel pretty confident that we'll be able to make the end of October. I mean, his kid's getting married and wants to use the car in his wedding, so we really can't miss that. Uh, that's it. I'm going to turn the fans back on. Okay, we've got to take Cindy's car off the rotisserie. Come back here for a minute. Because we've got, we've got the trunk floor cut out. And this, this is the section we're going to replace from here, the quarter stand, but the, all of the, the trunk rail and this taillight are all coming out, uh, as well as this piece across the back, because we've got some rust in here, and it, it's not going to stop unless we replace it. So we've got to take it off the rotisserie, because right now the weight's supported on these frame, with these frame rails. Um, so we've, we've got to get all the weight off of them, uh, start our measuring and graphing, and, and uh, use our tramp gauge, make sure everything's in the right spot. And then we'll cut this back panel out, and then we can slide the trunk floor in because the, the entire taillight panel of the car is going to be gone. And that gives us the room to wrestle that in there. Uh, so that's in the next couple of days, we'll, we'll have this down on the ground where we're going to work on it. This, it's a little high right now for, for where it needs to be to do any welding on it. Um, we're going to put the front lower and the back up, but again, take all the weight off the frame rails of this car, which are perfect. Uh, so we can put, once we get the trunk pan in, get this panel back together, then we're going to put it back up on the rotisserie because it needs to be here to complete what we're doing. But it's just one of those things you're going to have to, you've got to make do. So. We'll show you that uh, when we get doing it. It won't be today, but it's going to be tomorrow or the next day. So, right? What? Right? Yep. Yep. They're paid to say that. But I just told them what we're going to do to get the weight off it. Because if, if we were to cut that back panel on, out right now on this rotisserie, it fold those frame rails right up and destroy this car. So 
we don't really want to do that. No. no. And then once that's in, we've got a couple spots, like I said, in the back panel that's, that's going to be replaced across the whole thing with the parts that Bobby just took apart. Now he's got to do it all again and then put it all, right. put it all back together. So it, it's, it's going to be kind of an elongated process, but we'll get it done. It's going to be nice. I, I just I don't like seeing that. They When they repaired it, they didn't really repair we can't, it. We can't do that. I can, yeah, you can't. Come here and look at this. I mean, up in here, come around here. They just bonded it. They just, they just bonded it all up, and they bonded this to make it level. And you can see where they redrilled for the tail light to fit in there correctly. We're actually going to use this piece when we cut it out up, up, because the tail light. No, we're going to make that one the same as this. Right, with, but we can use this as piece. a template. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So we're going to have to fabricate something here. You cannot buy parts for this car new. Uh, if it were 68, different story. But for 67, they don't make important pieces like this which is more than likely why it was just buried at, at some point because they couldn't get anything. And that's some people's idea of fix, fixing it, is to just bury it. Ah, bumper's gonna be over it, taillight's gonna be over it, nobody will ever see it. We're gonna know it's there, so we, we need to do it right. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> no, that's not even close to right. But, but we'll, we'll show you on that as soon as we get going.